What's up guys today's video is on the top 3 best camera for photography in 2025. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers so whether it's price performance or its particular use we've got you covered. For more information on the products I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Now let's get started. Number 3 Canon EOS R6 Mark II for wedding photographers and other hybrid shooters who need to combine stills with video, the Canon EOS R6 Mark II ticks all the right boxes and more besides. Building on the success of the original R6, it has more megapixels, faster stills shooting rates and better video performance, with no time limits at most resolutions and an end to overheating problems. Just like the original. The Canon EOS R6 Mark II feels pretty chunky for a full-frame mirrorless camera. It's a little shorter and shallower than the EOS 6D Mark II DSLR, and both are a practically identical weight of 1.5 pounds. An upside is that handling feels very natural thanks to its large ergonomic grip, and it feels well balanced when using large lenses. The Canon EOS R6 Mark II builds on Canon's excellent reputation for natural color rendition. A range of different picture styles is on hand to enhance the likes of portraits and landscapes, plus an auto option that selects the appropriate picture style for the subject matter as you shoot. Naturally, if you shoot in raw quality mode, you can keep or change the picture style at the editing stage, as well as changing the white balance, exposure value, and other parameters. The EOS R6 Mark II features a 24.2 MP full-frame dual-pixel CMOS AF2 sensor, paired with Canon's Digic-X processor. Sensor-wise, this is a significant jump from the 20.1 megapixels in its predecessor, but is still relatively modest for a full-frame camera. The Canon EOS R6 Mark II is capable of 4K UHD at up to 60p and, unlike the original EOS R6, that's using the full width of the sensor without a 1.07x crop factor. You can also shoot for K UHD internally from oversampled 6K capture, which can help to reduce moire patterning and false color. The Canon EOS R6 Mark II is a spectacular hybrid camera that works equally well for stills and video, with seamless switching between the two. Indeed, if you're a fan of 16x9 landscape orientation stills, you can output 8.3 MP stills from a video clip as frame grabs. Number 2 Nikon Z9 The Nikon Z9 sees Nikon's mirrorless cameras take an impressive jump forward to match flagship rivals from Canon and Sony. The Z9 feels like an indestructible DSLR, but inside are innovative features like advanced AF tracking, 20 frames per second raw burst shooting, 8K video, and an electronic-only shutter. We also like its new two-way tilting screen. The Z9's video prowess impresses already and we're looking at a modern-day Nikon classic. The Nikon Z9 is the landmark mirrorless Nikon camera that professional wildlife and sports photographers have been waiting for. A full-frame flagship that takes the baton from the Nikon D6 and marks the end of pro Nikon DSLRs, the Z9 sees Nikon's mirrorless tech take a big leap forward and match the advances made by Canon and Sony. This means the Z9 relies completely on its electronic shutter, a bold statement of intent that shows Nikon's confidence in its new stacked 45.7 MP full-frame CMOS sensor and Xpeed 7 processor. Like the Canon EOS R3, the Nikon Z9 is a traditional-looking mirrorless camera that's designed to appeal to those making the switch from a DSLR. To compete with other flagship mirrorless cameras like the Canon EOS R3 and Sony A1, the Nikon Z9 needed to make giant strides in autofocus and burst shooting performance, and it's largely achieved that. The Nikon Z9, meanwhile, can shoot full-resolution RAW at 20 frames per second, and for our tests it was able to do this for about 90 frames in compressed RAW when using a top-line Lexar CF Express Type B card. The Nikon Z9 stacked 45.7 MP full-frame CMOS sensor effectively makes it a super-powered version of the Nikon Z7 II, which also offers a 45.7 MP resolution, but without the stacked chip for speedy readout speeds. This resolution gives you significantly more cropping potential than the 24 MP Canon EOS R3. The drawback is slightly slower maximum burst speeds than the EOS R3 or EOS R5, which can hit 30 frames per second when shooting raw photos. 
the Z9 does join the select few mirrorless cameras that can shoot 8K video. According to Nikon, it can 8K a 30p video continuously for up to 125 minutes, even without an internal fan, which somewhat puts the smaller Canon EOS R5's overheating limitations to shame. Number, Number 1 Sony A7 IV The Sony A7 IV is the best hybrid mirrorless camera you can buy right now. A truly modern all-rounder that largely justifies its price tag, it packs class-leading autofocus, impressive image quality and powerful video features into one versatile body. Dedicated street or sports photographers should look elsewhere, and it isn't the fastest shooter in its class. But for everyone else, the A7 IV is a rock-solid all-rounder with few glaring weaknesses. It might be the only camera you ever need. The Sony A7 IV is the best mirrorless all-rounder you can buy right now. It isn't as powerful as the Sony A1, as fast as the Canon EOS R6, or as affordable as the Fujifilm X-T4, but it does offer a brilliant blend of photographic power and video versatility. By effectively combining two cameras in one, it's the best example so far of the hybrid convenience that modern mirrorless cameras can offer. The Sony A7 IV might look like a clone of its predecessor, but there are quite a few subtle upgrades that collectively make it a much more enjoyable camera to use. On the top you'll find an improved electronic viewfinder, EVF, with a 3.69 million dot resolution and 120 frames per second refresh rate. While this is now fairly standard at this price, you'll find an almost identical viewfinder on the Canon EOS R6, it is a much-needed upgrade and performs particularly well when you're trying to track moving subjects. The Sony A7 IV isn't quite the game-changer that its predecessor was for full-frame mirrorless cameras, but its upgrades bring it close to the Canon EOS R6, which means it's a fine choice for everyone from wildlife shooters to wedding photographers. As we discovered in the features section above, the Sony A7 IV isn't a true speed demon when it comes to burst shooting. Sony's decision to boost its resolution to 33MP has effectively cancelled out any power gains of its new processor, which means it offers the same 10 frames per second top speed as the A7 III. That extra resolution is handy for those who like to regularly crop into their photos, but in general the A7IV's improvements are geared more towards versatility rather than absolute image quality. Thanks for watching. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe.